So Far Cry is known for being a very long game, but I've actually found this a very short ending. So this actually is based off the first opening sequence. So you stay at the, the table and just stand there and then something else happens and you guys can see it in this video um, but yeah it's a very quick way of ending the game and it actually makes you look at the the main villain a little bit differently it's quite interesting this does contain obviously spoilers if you haven't played the start of the game but apart from that you're pretty much good to watch it go ahead and enjoy it hit the thumbs up button share with your friends and stuff also on the side note you have to stay at the table for around 13 minutes i literally have to sit there and just leave the computer running so that's a bit weird but it's sit there for 13 minutes he comes back and then you go off somewhere else so enjoy the video and i'll see you guys later Accept your status as a U.S. citizen as we have no official records regarding your Karate citizenship. Furthermore, I must legally advise you against traveling into Karat. We have no official diplomatic presence in Karat due to the civil unrest with the Golden Path. In regards to your intent to bring with you the cremated remains of one Ishwari Gale, you'll need to bring with you the passport for the deceased. Your passport. Yeah. What's happening? words sound the same. That it got out of control? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What'd you say? It got out of control. Got out of control. I hate when things get out of control. Oh! One fucking job, but you couldn't fucking do that! There's a silver lining. You didn't completely fuck it up. Get up, boy. I recognize those eyes anywhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. This was supposed to be... Well, not this. We have a party waiting for you. But I don't think I know your name. Who is this? Hmm? Is this your plus one? <laughs> Strong silent type. I like it. I am terribly embarrassed about all of this. This was supposed to be 
Very simple, but you know, if you give food to monkeys, they just throw their shit at each other. You know. Oh, would you hold this? For just a moment, I want to get a little picture right into the camera. There we are. Awesome. Don't worry about a thing, my boy. This will soon be behind us. And we'll be off on a grand adventure. Because I have cleared my calendar for you. You and I are gonna tear shit up! <laughs> should I stay or should I go? Give my congratulations to Ashley on your next visit home. I must say, Paul, your little corner of Kiratu is rather beautiful. I expected more. You know, chains and wailing, but knowing you, somewhere around here is a dark place where the secrets flow like the blood. <laughs> that wry smile betrays you again, Diplur. <laughs> well, go on, take the bloody bag off his head. Again, terribly sorry for what happened before. This is more what I had in mind. So, fresh start. Introductions. Ajay Gale, our guest of honor. Paul, our very gracious host. The little monkey, whose name I still don't know. And I, of course, am Pagan Men. You really don't remember me, do you? Your mother, she never spoke of me, never mentioned me. We'll change all that. All I need cash. Uh, how much do you need? All of it. Thank you. Here we are. Ah. Hmm? All right. With this, with the smile. <clears throat> That's you. That's me. Although I'm not so sure anymore. Now your mother. Your mother, on hey. the other hand, she understood me. She knew me in a way that no one ever did. That takes me back. The last time I saw Ishwari was years ago. She told me she loved me. Women, they can do that. They can tell you they love you in the moment and mean it. Men, on the other hand, no, men only really love you in hindsight. And too much distance has built up. So, when your mother decided to flee to the United States with you on her hip, I couldn't help but blame myself. But then I realized, it's not me, no. It was the fucking golden path. Those fucking terrorists, they ruin everything. Like dinner. Did no one ever teach you that it's rude to text at the table? Let's we'll see it. It be fun. Really, guys? We're not checking for these anymore? Ah, I'm with R.J. Gale. You'll love this part. Help. <laughs> a text for help. You don't text for help, you cry for help. So come on, you're gonna cry for help. If you're gonna do something, you're gonna do it right. Here we go. Go on. Cry for help. Cry for help. Help? Oh, pathetic. No, cry for help. Help! You mean it, boy. Help! Help! From your diaphragm! Help! Help! Shh, 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 shh. Now we listen. Nothing. I'm afraid they're not coming for you, buddy. <laughs> oh! Find out what he knows. Terrorists, right? Now, please, stay right here. Enjoy the crab rangoon. Don't move. I will be right back. Yuma, we need to talk. You, sir, are a gentleman. I 
sincerely apologize. We saw terrorists in the area and yada yada. The Crab Rangoon, right? It's... <laughs> Fabulous. Mm. Well, come on, let's go. Three point landing. You know, part of me is surprised your mother asked for you to bring her all the way back here. Thank you, Kamran. You want me to follow? Jesus Christ. Yes, boy, the ashes aren't going to scatter themselves. Did your mother ever tell you about your father? Never know. Mohan, the great protector of the Golden Path. <laughs> he was a cunt. He hauled your mother out, sent her to spy on me. But we fell in love. We had a child. And that is when Mohan showed his true colors. <laughs> he drove you and your mother away. He even killed your sister, Lakshmana. Which... Brings us here. Lakshmana shouldn't be alone anymore. I'm so glad we're finally back together. After you. Oh, good. You feel better now? Get it out of your system? Good. Maybe now we can finally shoot some goddamn guns. Let me know. 